Hi everyone. I hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving. Um, um, I know I had a r r really good Thanksgiving with m my family and friends. Um, I h hope you had to. Um, first thing I, I, I want to do is I want to recap on, um, I want to re re recap on, um, the whole teacher thing, because I know a lot of you have been asking questions and asking me, um, how's it uh, going, and right now it's still go uh, going on, um, still talking it through with the ombudsman, and if she still doesn't recant, we're going to go on to the uh, dean, and then uh, here and, and all that. So I will let you all know when I know. So um, something I'm going to do this week that I don't usually do, but because it's Thanksgiving, I'm going to say what I'm thankful f for. Because I know a, a lot of us, we really don't sit back. Even normal people, well, that sounds really bad. Even people without a stutterer, a stuttering problem, they don't really think, oh, what, what am I thankful for? But I am thankful to have a, 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 a blood and family and friends who accept me for who I am, um, to have had the op to have had the opportunity to go around the world. Because if it wasn't for that, I would not probably be doing this right now. If it wasn't for the children or the people that have inspired me to speak out, to be this person who is on camera talking to people about my speech, that would not be me a couple years ago, let me tell you right now. But because I and you all have a voice, as you all know, I love that quote, I have a voice from the King's speech, um, because you know what we do, we all have a voice, and I know for some people it's hard, it's hard to step out of your comfort zone, I am the, I'm, like, I will tell you, like, I was very hesitant step out of my comfort zone. I was very hesitant to be that person that is going to talk to people. But you know what? A lot of people who know me, I'm a chatterbox. Maybe you guys already real realize that in my videos, but I'm a chatterbox. Even growing up as a kid, I spoke a lot. I was the first one to say, hi, how are you? I'm Molly Kotchik. And as a child, I would just shrug off the whole stuttering problem, and if someone laughed, I would give them a dirty look and just I'll walk away. Yeah. But I no longer feel like I have to do that. I feel like I'm strong and I'm confident in my voice. And maybe some people think that that's being cocky, but if you really knew how stutterers feel, how they talk. You wouldn't think of it as being cocky, you would think of it as being confident, and that's that's what I am. I'm confident in my voice, because you know what, because to have confidence is to be able to be confident in your own skin, and I know for a lot of people, um, you probably are thinking, oh, that's easy for her to say, but I know how it is. I know how it is to be the, not the outcast, but to be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. Trust me. Um, so, to end this little recap, or to recap, or to put it in all one little box, I want to give those of you who have a speech problem, or even if you don't have a speech problem, I'm going to give you, like, a challenge. And it's just a tiny challenge, don't worry, you don't have to write me an essay, or you don't have to give a speech. Ha ha ha. But, um, I just want you guys to write down what you are thankful 
for, for and see how many of those relate to your speech. If it is like your f friend, f friends support you or you were able to stand up to someone or just anything. And if you if you want to tell me, go ahead. If not, just give it to like keep it to yourself if you if you if you want. But in this exercise, it's encouraging you to write down what you're thankful for and hopefully be able to um, be inspired and maybe one day do a video like myself. So, with that, I um, wish you guys all a happy week and to use your voice, if that means to do a speech, do something. I encourage you to to do whatever you you ever you please. So, have a good week everyone. Bye now.